drug is called nidazines, and they're seeing more cases because of how easy it is to get your hands on it. The coroner's office tells me the key components can be found at any store. The nidazines are uh, a substance that fall into the category of novel psychoactive substances. And what that means is that these are new drugs that are being designed by chemists uh, to get psychoactive effects like opiates. Dr. Charles Preston says while they are considered new drugs, they were created in the 1950s as a pain reliever, but they were never approved. Now the key components of the drug are becoming easier to find and easier to manipulate. Everywhere you see an R is a place you can put a replacement group in. And all depending on what chemical you put here, it's a brand new substance. Now there are over 60 variations of the drug. It's been detected in St. Bernard, St. Tammany and Ascension parishes over the last two years. So any drug bust like the fentanyl and meth found in Slidell Tuesday raises concern. Just like we've seen with the fentanyl poisons, the illicit fentanyl poisons being pressed into pills that look like pharmaceutical pills, the same thing is, is happening with the nidazine. And because it's up to 100 times more potent than fentanyl, it could take four doses of Narcan to revive someone. We don't really know what the chemical behavior is as it metabolizes through the body. And so a half-life could be a few hours to many days. We just don't have the clinical experience to know. If you get your hands on a pill that you suspect may be laced with a drug, you can actually use a product called Deterra, and it deactivates the drug once you mix it with water. Coming up at 6, we'll explain why the nidazines are so difficult for the coroners to detect.